In this video, I'll walk you through how I made this next support call. I built this project using scrap pieces of wood, birch, walnut, piece of plywood, another piece of walnut, and another piece of birch. I use regular wood glue to laminate all the pieces together. I clamped everything together and allowed the glue to dry. I removed the squeeze out glue with an old chisel. The overall width of this project is about 2 and 3 quarter inches. I measured 12 inches and then cut the piece to length. I used the jointer to get a really flat surface on one face. Then I used that face on the table saw to trim off the excess material. The overall thickness of this call is about one inch. To get rid of the burn marks from the table saw, I used a card scraper. Before making the cove cut, I marked two pencil lines. One represents the center, and the other one represents the depth. Here I'm setting up to make a cove cut. This is similar to the guitar neck rest that I made uh, in a previous video. The table saw miter gauge is set at 64 degrees and then I clamped a piece of wood to act as a fence. Then the piece of wood travels diagonally across the blade and that's what creates this uh, curved shape. This is called a cove cut. I raise the blade only a few millimeters at a time and take very shallow passes and move very slowly. If you're going to make a cove cut, you'll need to remove the anti-kickback device. That's the black piece just behind the blade. This is something I forgot to do and you'll see that I, once the blade is high enough, I hit it. I stop the blade, unplug the machine, remove that anti-kickback device and then continued to make the cove cut. I cut some cork slightly oversized and then glued it into the cove. A thick piece of tubing works really well to hold the cork in place while the glue dries. In my case I used a few old t-shirts to wrap the tube to get better coverage. Then I used three clamps to hold everything in place. When the glue dried, I removed some of the excess cork.
using some 100 grit sandpaper on a block, I sanded the cork flush with the edges of the wood. I also rounded all the hard edges with some sandpaper. Next I sanded all the faces to 150 grit. And finally I applied two coats of tongue oil.